MPD says there have been nearly 60 pedestrian crashes this year. 12 of them are deadly. The tragedy has impacted several school districts, families and even detectives. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson has IMPD's plea for drivers to just slow down. First of all, slow down. We're just seeing some incredibly unsafe speeds on the road right now. Uh, in excess 100 miles an hour on city streets. IMPD is sounding the alarm about the number of crashes and hit and run cases detectives are working. It's the highest it's been in three years. Some of those cases involve children. 12 fatal crashes this year to four this time last year. So definitely uh, a significant increase in fatal crashes. Friday was so busy, Sergeant Douglas Houston says IMPD almost ran out of traffic detectives. Seven-year-old Savion Sanford was one of Friday's hit and run victims. He was struck by two cars and killed near his Warren Harbor bus stop. Sad. A mother bearing her child is never good, especially at that young age. Sergeant Houston says the driver that didn't stop may never be caught if the public doesn't step in. It's a nightmare for detectives and Sanford's family. You would ask me what the worst cases I've ever investigated were, they'd all be children. In February, a Northwest 7th grader was injured in a hit and run on 34th Street and High School Road. You know, students should not be concerned about, you know, cars. Um, First thing in the morning. Following that incident, IPS Commissioner and Northwest Principal Phil Schultz said the district would look into making bus stops and walks to school safer. Today, I asked the principal what their plan is. He says the school is proposing better lighting along 34th Street, asking for donations to purchase around 500 reflective drawstring backpacks, which will cost around $2,500. And the school is also looking to buy LED safety lights for all students. IMPD says it's also investigating safety improvements. A little early for that, but we will be going out with the um, DPW guys um, again here in the near future to look at some of our fatal crash sites to determine if there could be some engineering solutions to those problems. Working for you, Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. IMPD is begging the public if involved in an accident, stay there on scene. And if you have any information regarding a hit and run, please come forward.